good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the video in this video i will teach you step by step guide on how to get started with apache flink and kinesis uh, stream so this video is focused on uh, teaching you how to read data from a kinesis uh, data stream uh, uh, using apache flink python client library running locally so without wasting uh, any further time let's get started just before I start the video, I just wanted to make sure if in case I miss any steps, everything is given on my blog post and all the steps are explained. All the code uh, is given over here in my uh, blog post as well. So make sure to check that out. Also, if you are new to uh, Apache Flink, uh, I have a first video where I covered the basic of Apache Flink, how to install that on your computer. And I basically did also a deep dive on table API in Apache Flink. So make sure to check that out if you are a, a beginner. So the first step in the process is we need to create Kinesis data stream so we can play with. So for this, I have a simple Python function written, which is called create Kinesis stream. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the function. I'm going to pass the, the stream name as input stream. So let's execute the cell. Now this cell is being executed. And if you go now to Kinesis and if you refresh, uh, you should be seeing one Kinesis uh, stream uh, called input stream with one particular shard. Now, once we have the Kinesis uh, stream, uh, let's publish some fake dummy data uh, using some library called Faker. So here, if you observe, I have a function called get data and generate. So given number of sample, its job is to publish data into the Kinesis data stream. So I will execute this Python code and sure enough, these uh, events are now published into Kinesis data stream. If I go to the Kinesis data stream, if I go to data viewer uh, over here, and if I do shard and if I do trim horizon, get records here, you can see these records. That's fantastic. Now let's now the next step is you need to download the jar file and the links for the jar file can be found in the description. Here you can see the Maven repository. Go ahead and download the jar file. Again, in case if this particular jar doesn't work, you can try a different version, maybe 1.15 or 1.13. Again, this jar worked for me. So this is the jar, which is called Flink SQL Connector for Kinesis 1.16.1. And if you go to the link, uh, if you click on uh, the jar over here, this one, this will download that jar uh, on your computer. And now put the jar in the local directory where you're doing your Jupyter Notebooks. So here you can see I, I, I am doing an os.listdir. This basically uh, shows all the files in my current directory. And as you can see, I have that jar file. Now let's understand the code. Uh, this is the main part that you need to understand. Uh, in my first video, as I said, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a table environment. So here you can see I'm creating the table environment. Uh, these are just the configuration file for the Flink job. Uh, as you can see, uh, specifies the jar file, right? Uh, and then specifies the region um, and uh, trim horizon, meaning I wanna read everything from the stream, uh, right? And then this is the name of the input stream. Now, I have a function called create source table. So this creates a table. Uh, and as you can see, we are using the Kinesis connector over here, the region, uh, the stream name. Again, all of these are placeholders. We are we're gonna you know provide the values for that. Okay. Now, if we come to the code, uh, it's pretty straightforward. The code is very very easy. Over here uh, on the table environment, we set the we set the uh, jar file as you can see the current directory os dot get uh, cwd, and then this is the name of the jar file. If you have a different jar file, make sure to change these values. Once you're done that, here you can see table environment dot execute SQL. We are executing a SQL, and here you can see we are passing an input table name, the stream name, the region, etc. Um, so basically, we're passing all the information about the kinesis, right? And here you can see the input table name is input table. You can put it ABC foo sample doesn't really matter. Whatever you like, you can set that name. Once we have the table created, again in the previous part. In the basics, I covered that, right? Once you have the table, you can select, you can dice, you can slice the data, however you like. Over here, I'm simply printing that on the console. So I'm saying select star from input table name. So in this case, uh, the input table name is input table, right? And then we are using table environment dot execute SQL. We are executing the SQL query and then we're doing a print. And then again, the job is just gonna uh, uh, wait for uh, new data. So now if I run this, Okay, so I'm gonna run this. Uh, the job has started, as you can see. Uh, let me just go up a little bit. Yeah, it is in the running state. 
uh, executing now the query as you can see now it made the source table and here you can see i do have the data from the kinesis i'm able to read that locally uh, now let's clean up everything so we're going to delete the kinesis and uh, that's it it's literally that easy uh, to work with uh, kinesis apache flink uh, 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 locally right i hope this video helps you the complete exercise file can be found in the description in the upcoming videos we're gonna see how we can uh, you know read data from the kinesis stream how we can uh, write it into the apache hoodie more tables right we're gonna see more and more stuff but hopefully basics are clear the first video was the table api i covered how to install flink and the table api this video i just showed you very basic right how to read from a kinesis data stream uh, in your apache flink application running locally in python of course and in the upcoming video we're going to explore more thank you so much and i'm going to see you in the next video